Welcome back. The migrant crisis exploding in Europe, surging to more than a million at its peak as a result of its open border policy. Our next guest argues this disaster is a case study of exactly what President Trump is trying to avoid in his push for border security. Here to explain it, Vice President of Foreign Policy at the Heritage Foundation, James Carafano. James, good morning. Merry Christmas to you. Good to be with you. So you wrote this awesome op-ed for FoxNews.com, uh, the headline of which is, We Need Trump's Border Wall Plus Other Measures to Reduce Illegal Immigration. I want to get to that. But first, there's a headline there. Let's talk about why what we're seeing in Europe is a preview, perhaps, of what's coming here. Well, you know, I think the, the biggest issue, which is the one we're not talking about, is really weaponizing migrants, right? You know, we have a, the U.N. Migration Pact, the U.N. Refugee Pact, we saw Aragon in, in Turkey threaten to flood Europe with refugees if he didn't get what he wanted. We saw the Russians cranking up military operations in Syria to drive people out. So if you create kind of this right to migrate, then what you're telling bad people is, look, just figure out how to put a bunch of migrants on the road and destabilize the country. We even saw this in Latin America. The, the caravan started because People wanted to aim people at the U.S. border to demonstrate it that it was uncontrollable. So when you create this environment where you can use migrants as a tool to punish people, that's a big danger. And we saw that happen big time in Europe. And I think that's something that we have to be concerned about over the long term. You say, you know, we saw that in Europe. So if you look at the years of 2015, 2016, just two, three years ago, they peaked at over a million point two uh, migrants seeking asylum. But ultimately, are we now having a debate over whether or not the president has the right to the sovereignty of our borders? Well, I think we are, and increasingly we've seen not just uh, a political debate, but we've seen judicial activism where judges have really kind of taken the responsibility out of the president's hands. And look, this is a really a major issue. You, and we can even tie this back into the, to the Syria debate. And we talk about what the president's doing in the Middle East. Remember, when the president came in office, in 2015, over a million refugees poured from uh, the Middle East in, and North Africa into Western Europe. This administration over two years, has, working with the Europeans, has driven that down to a trickle. Because, and part of the reason of that is because we intervene, the Europeans work with us. So when you take away the right of sovereign authorities to deal with the problems, right. then, then you can see these floods. And you know, James, I want to just, from your article, you say, if America fails to maintain firm control of who gets into our country and who stays, the resulting crisis could make the woes of Europe look petty. You write that during the middle of a shutdown over border security. Well, you know, I, I do think the president has a point here, and, and you know, we can debate the five billion dollars and what you want on the border and everything else, but 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 this is really a political debate, and we all know that it's not really about border security; it's about a power struggle. And what it's done is it's created a precedent where essentially we have put the political power struggle over the obligation of government to do its duty. And I think that's really dangerous. And lastly, I want to hit on one thing, and that is we're not uh, doing enough to enforce our existing immigration laws, you write. Yeah, I think it's a multi-part. Uh, look, you're not just going to solve this with putting stuff on the border, right? You, you've got to end catch and release, right? So you have to end the loopholes that allow people to stay here and just abscond and stay. You have to enforce your laws internally. You have to work with countries. And it's not just foreign aid. I think that's overly yeah. simplistic. You have to get deep down where the source is, identify it, and stop these problems before they get into the butter. So you've got to work it across the spectrum, not just at the border. Good insight. James Carafano, thank you very much. Go to foxnews.com and read his op-ed. And uh, Merry Christmas to you. Hey, thanks for having me. All right. Money for nothing? Alexandria.